Hi, my name is Tim McKenzie. I just wanted to give a brief introduction on myself. Uh, I teach both philosophy and journalism at Lincoln Land. Uh, I started teaching here. This will be my seventh year full time at Lincoln Land. Uh, I teach philosophy, which is logic, ethics, world religions, intro to philosophy. But I also teach, teach journalism. Uh, I teach news writing, mass comm, things like that. And I also advise the student newspaper uh, here. So I do kind of both areas. Just to give a little bit about me, I grew up in central Illinois, but I grew up kind of on the other side of central Illinois. I grew up in Mattoon, Illinois. Um, if you have any idea where that's at. Uh, I uh, graduated from there and I ended up going to Greenville University to study philosophy and religion. Greenville is about 45 minutes outside of St. Louis, kind of just south of uh, Litchfield, and things like that, for those who are in that area. Um, and I got my bachelor's degree and I ended up going to Texas A&M University for my master's degree in philosophy. And when I got done with that, I wasn't sure I wanted to do a PhD. So I started teaching part time. And I did that for a couple of years. And I started thinking maybe I'd do something else. I uh, wasn't sure about, you know, philosophy that a lot of people uh, get a PhD and can't find a job. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do something different. So I ended up getting a master's degree in journalism from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And I ended up working both as a journalist and then teaching part-time uh, for about the next 10 years, I would say. Uh, and then six or seven years ago, this will be my seventh year at Lincoln Land, uh, I ended up coming here full-time. Uh, so just to give you a little bit about myself, uh, I have two sons. Uh, my sons are, and I'll show you a little picture. Um, so this is my youngest son, Truman, and Truman will be uh, eight in February, 2021. And this is Max, and I'm making this video in August of 2020, and he'll be uh, nine here in just a few weeks. So nine and then eight, so about a year and a half apart. Uh, I am divorced, but my I just got remarried this summer, and uh, that's my wife, Kate, and that's just a little bit about us, uh, so, and, and that's uh, me. This is from Christmas at my brother's place. So anyway, so that's a little bit about myself. Um, as with most of you, uh, some of you, not with most of you, but some of you, you have children, uh, at least as of this making, you know, my kids will be doing remote learning. They'll be with me a few days a week. I know that's going to cause a few hiccups, but uh, hopefully everything will go fine and everything else is good. So I always sort of ask in the first discussion where I introduce yourself, I usually say, tell me something that's kind of an unusual story about yourself. And so I always like to throw in a little bit of a, I'll, I'll just tell you a quick unusual story about me. Um, when I was 16 years old, I was uh, riding my bicycle. I, I decided to go out for just a bicycle ride. We lived kind of near the edge of town. So I was riding out into the country and I had a brand new uh, watch. And so I, I don't wear a watch now, but uh, I had a brand new watch on and uh, it started to rain. And so I was worried about my watch. I just spent like you know, a fair amount of money on this thing and didn't want it to get ruined in the rain. So I was trying to take it off. I took my hands off the handlebar and this was before, you know, helmets were kind of normal, I suppose, or at least, you know, I wasn't wearing one. And uh, in the process, my steering wheel kind of just turned sideways and I fell back and I hit my head right here at the back. There's still a little bit of a scar where I hit it. Uh, it didn't bleed a lot or anything. It wasn't a big gash, um, but it bled for maybe an hour or two and there's a little scar there where there's no hair. Um, and, you know, head hurt very, very badly for a couple of days, but it got better. And uh, doctor didn't seem to think, you know, much was wrong until a few days later, I started noticing I couldn't smell anything. And I went to school and, you know, the cafeteria didn't smell. There were people tarring their uh, driveways. I didn't smell that. And so I come home and I'm like lighting matches. I'm doing all kinds of things. And I realized I have no sense of smell. So essentially what they say is that, you know, your brain sits in fluid and it just, you know, hit, it shook back and forth. And I just shook something loose, you know. Um, so, uh, no, but I probably, the olfactory nerve probably somehow got severed, 
um, in the process. It has come back a little bit, but my smell is greatly diminished. Uh, I can smell things if they're really bad. Uh, certain things have maybe more of a texture or a uh, other aspects that perhaps you don't, you kind of, when you, you have smell, you get overwhelmed. Like I can usually tell if like you're in a garage and there's gasoline in it, I can usually smell that um, or certain things I can smell, but that's about it. I mean, uh, it's fairly limited. When my kids were in diapers, they're both, uh, they're 17 and a half months apart. Um, when they were both in diapers, uh, you know, if one of them, I would have to check them regularly. But if they could be like, if they were went across the room, I wouldn't smell it. And I remember a few times my mother would come over to watch them part of the day and she would get there and she'd be like, ooh, somebody pooped their pants. And I would be like, oh, and I, and until I went over and actually I could, if I got them like, you know, up, I could lift them up and smell their butt and, and I could smell it, but I couldn't do it from a distance. So the idea is I can smell, it's just not very pronounced. And so sometimes people will of course ask, can you taste? And my little joke is you don't get a body like this not tasting. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can taste. I don't know if it's the same as it was before. It's been 20 some years, uh, 27 years or so since that happened. Um, so, you know, I don't know how much different it is, but you know, basically, yeah, I can taste uh, and I can smell some things. It's just not very significant. Okay, so share about yourself. I always love reading the introductions. I look forward to interacting with you in the class and best of luck.